Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rod here from Rod Kutzarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for July 30th to, to August 5th 2018 four card spread and the first one which represents the topic for Gemini this is going to be the seven of uh, cups the second one which represents the core of the situation for Gemini that is going to be the four of pentacles third one represents represents the challenges which uh, Gemini has to overcome this is the Queen of uh, Wands and the last one that will be the guidance here with the Emperor so this is going to be rather um, how should I say it well you don't have to accept that word in a very bad sense but let's say this is going to be a threatening week and I will explain you why Gemini so now we do have the seven of cups here as the topic which means uh, especially in conjunction with the four of pentacles it does mean that your uh, expectations will be lifted quite high and that your um, uh, kind of like hopes will be fed all right and uh, you will have a uh, or kind of like you will adopt a, a very big hopes for yourself for something that you will look forward to or in general for development of a certain project or relationship and now the thing here is is that we have a person who feeds you with these hopes now that is the queen of wands all right and that falls into a, a challenging position so you will find it very hard to kind of resist the enthrallment all right the mesmerizing effect of this person it's basically a person who kind of very subtle uh, has that subtle approach to utilize other people's advantages and or other other people's knowledge and capabilities for its own uh, benefit so at the end of the day you may find yourself used by that person most likely a woman all right for her own uh, kind of like comfort and for her own uh, beneficial um, beneficial experience but the seven of cups here is exactly that guys let's let's start first from that card so the topic as i said that is going to be great hopes and quite high dreams which are incorporated in your life seven of cups however is a card also telling you that there is a a, a danger not to repeat as some sort of an old mistake from the past and only a disappointment is going to set you back on track which means that as soon as you have a certain proposition from somebody or uh, you know someone tries to kind of like uh, attract you as a, a follower or as a business partner or even as a romantic partner you have to be very um, accurate about the diagnosis what that person truly is and what their um, aims are because as I said it will be very hard to resist the mesmerizing effect of that person so they will be able to enthrall you very quickly and the core of the situation here is the four of pentacles obviously uh, this um, you do have the means necessary to uh, kind of like uh, uh, help quote-unquote to that person you know to reach their uh, their goals but at the end of the day it's not about their goals is it it is about your goals so what these cards are advising you ultimately here with the four of pentacles and the emperor which is another four all right is to be uh, to be more prone to stay where you're feeling comfortable at alright so you should not allow anybody to infiltrate and jeopardize your, your comfortable position that you are uh, sitting on at this very moment very important as well to be said here with the four of pentacles is to establish a, um, a very accurate strategy or kind of like a, a very strict and systematic strategy for how you're gonna move on forward and rely only on the resources that that you do already have instead of uh, kind of like uh, relying on some imaginatory and celluloid resources that this person here is promising you that you may have further into the future and all in all here the guidance it is a about again taking control or rather maintaining control upon your personal life instead of trying to fix someone else's life without you even knowing it so the bottom line here Gemini is is that if uh, this person proposition does not benefit you directly straight away in any way uh, in any case excuse me possible 
I'm afraid that you should deny it, or at least this is what the cards are pointing. You should deny it no matter how, uh, you know, uh, enthralling and how mesmerizing it seems and how promising on top of that it seems. It's simply uh, something that uh, it is purely meant to satisfy someone else but you, all right? <clears throat> So I hope that you're going to make uh, the right choice here, Gemini's. It is just only thing that you should uh, think about when you kind of like enco encounter that person is how in ir irresponsible against the people that are there to your heart is going to be to redirect resources from your own comfort and from theirs, if you have child, uh, children and, uh, and a husband or a wife, for example, to someone else's goals. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, July 30th to August 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.